Hi, I'm Chuck Rajaska. Uh, I'm just going to show um, how to fuzz and exploit SL mail server. Uh, uh, mail server is running on a Windows XP Service Pack 2 box. And I'm going to be using Backtrack of a simple Python script to fuzz and exploit it. Um, here's the Python script. It has some stuff that I'll use later, but right now the big thing is this buffer right here. Um, it's going to send 41 A's, or uh, excuse me, it's going to score send um, hex 41, which is A 5,000 times. Um, that should be big enough to break it. I can come over here, um, open up a debugger, attach the SL mail. Get it running. And we can go back and run this. You can see it ran and broke. Um, we can go back over here um, and see that in our ESP we have ASCII A's. And our EBP got overwritten. Um, one of the most important things though is that we overwrit the EIP. Um, with this, we can make it do different things, but uh, this time around what we're trying to do actually is send it a jump ESP command to where one of those is so that we can jump back to our ESP and have shellcode in the ESP um, so that we can um, take over the machine. Next we're going to generate a non-repeating random string that uh, will tell us where in our string um, how long we need to make it to land in the EIP. And to do that, uh, just use Metasploit. It has a pattern create uh, program. We're going to make it 5,000 since that we know that broke. Um, SL mail, and that will give us a long enough string. So we just take that, copy it over to our script. Um, I already have it there, and then we can run that. Let's see, it broke it. And you can see we have this right here: three nine seven nine four six three eight. Um, we can then take that and look that up. So then we need to take uh, this hex values in here, um, switch them around because of a little endianness and we'll put them in here under the hex ASCII that gives us 8FY9 now we can go back to this and we can check that pattern offset um, and see where that occurs it occurs at 4646 and so then so now that we know if, uh, we need 4,646 um, bytes of stuff to overwrite up to the EIP and then um, 47, 48, 49, and 50 would be um, the next four bytes which we're going to overwrite with B's just to show that we can control it um, to show that everything before that will be A's we'll overwrite the EIP with B's and then we'll put some C's which I think end up in the ESP but um, just to show that we can control it. So then we'll start that up. And run it. See A's A's right here. There we got our four B's and then that's our C's and you can see that the EIP got overwritten by the bees. So we know that was right, um, that that number of bytes, 4,646 is needed, and then the next four bytes will be our EIP, which we will then use the EIP to do a jump ESP. And the final one of those, um, we can go to E, which shows executables running. I went to shell 32 because that's almost always there. So we have shell 32, and we can just double click that. I guess it's here. You can right click, 
do a search for we do a command we're going to search for a jump ESP I'll find one I'm pretty sure that's the one I'm using yeah you can see it's 7CA58265 again a little endianness we'll have to flip that around you can see I have a variable named jump ESP with that in there So I will comment this out, do this one, this is actually going to be executable, um, I won't run this yet because I'm going to show you the shell code and things like that, um, do this the shell, so let's do this, I found uh, a little bit of shell code to make a word pad, exe show up on the machine. So what we expect to see when I run the script now is a wordpad.exe to show up. And you see there it is. Uh, keep running it, it'll keep making them. But So we know that little shell code works. Um, I'm going to generate one that's going to do uh, shell bind. So now we're going to make the uh, shell bind TCP um, shell code so that I can copy it and put it into my uh, Python script. Um, if you need to see a list of Metasploit payloads, you can do MSF payload L. It will generate the list. Um, so what we're going to do build a payload in raw form and pipe it out to um, a file this way we can encode it um, and make sure there's no bad characters in there so pretty much just saying take this file make sure none of these bad characters in it when we encode it and use an encoding scheme, um, use this encoding scheme. Um, I found my bad characters by finding a, a similar exploit. In this case, uh, Metasploit already had one for SL mail, um, and I saw their bad characters, so I just took those and used those. So if we run that, it'll spit out shellcode for us. And we could copy that and paste it in, but I already have one in there, so I'm just going to leave that. Oops. You can see it's right here. I changed this to cell code from shell so that it runs my shell bind TCP shell code. And then um, if we go over here, you can see there's no connection on port 444 whatever 4 fours is. I don't know if I said enough there. Um, you can see there's none there. So now when we run this, I can run this again just to show you. But See it's not there. We'll run the script. If we do this again, you can see now that we have one, you can see um, it's obviously established connection with something. So now if I get all this, I do telnet to it. You can see we got in. 